Hey everyone, welcome back again and thank you for joining me on today's episode of Seeing Ghana Through the Eyes of Others. On today's episode, I have this amazing, beautiful lady here all the way from Nigeria who is married to a Ghanaian. Oh, yeah. So the reason, like when I heard about her, like she being a Nigerian and married to a Ghanaian, Please, I'm not talking about all these boyfriend, girlfriend. I'm talking about <laughs> real life, like married to a Nigerian. And I said, okay, I reached out to her if she would want to come share that with us. And here she is. Please do it to like this video. If you have not subscribed, kindly subscribe to my channel. And of course, you're free to comment down there in the comment section while we meet our guest for the day. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Lily, for having me. You're yeah. welcome to my channel. Thank you. Okay, so you are married to a Ghanaian. I'm aware of that. Okay. So please, can you tell us your name? I'm called Patricia Dankwa. Yes. And you are Nigerian. What state are you from? What part of Nigeria are you from? I'm from Anambra State. Yes. <laughs> oh, you are Igbo. Yes, I'm, I'm an Igbo woman. Yeah. That is even making me more curious to oh. know because for an Igbo lady, mm, yeah. I know it's very common to see Igbo guy marry, you know, marry white, marry black, marry Ghanaians. But for me, it's not a common thing for me. Like, I've not been seeing a lot of the Igbo ladies marrying outside of sure. the Igbo, sure. Igbo or outside of their tribe. Yeah. So, what really happened okay let's go back to the beginning how long have you been in ghana i've been here for so many years yeah more than 10 years now okay and um yeah it's not common for nigerians to get married to ghanaians especially the Igbos, <laughs> right yeah yeah but um i happen to just be in love and um for me it's the best thing that has ever happened to me oh <laughs> god when <laughs> God when should I say God when? <laughs> so you met your uh, where did you guys meet? Is it here in Ghana or in Nigeria or somewhere? I met my husband here in Ghana, yeah. And um it was just a I don't know, how can I say? It was an ordained thing that was bound to happen because it's uh, when I met my husband on that fateful day, mm. the first time I met him, like he was like I love you. And I just looked at him, I was like, say waiting. You say waiting? Is that how Ghanaians love? Mm -hmm. <laughs> how can you say you love a lady? You just met me. And I was like, but immediately I saw you. Something in me tells me that this is my wife. And seriously speaking, I fell in love with him on that very day. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so that, I'm sorry, I'm not cutting you short. Okay. <laughs> how where did you guys meet where i mean like the circumstances because eh, maybe you know why i'm asking okay. so tell us um the day i met my husband was um at utc okay he was a phone rep repairer okay as of then and the person that took me to my husband happens to be somebody that was also you know crashing, crashing on, me. on you yeah okay. <laughs> and when my phone had a problem he had to just take me to my husband's workshop to mm. repair my phone and this thing was just happening when i got there you know and my husband was like wow i like you and we started talking that was it so when i called this particular guy he's a nigerian guy okay and i was telling him that charlie i think i like this guy he was like really Mm -hmm. I just took you there to go and fix your phone. How come now you are falling in love? <laughs> and that was it. That was just it. So you believed him and then that was how the whole thing started. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. I, I, I felt this um, connection between the both mm -hmm. of us. Yeah. I felt it. Yeah. Yeah. Another good Sorry. win. Another good win. <laughs> okay. That is so beautiful. Now, I want to ask yeah. because eh, I have seen people around here. Mm -hmm. calling you know call ladies my wife yeah. it's very common for a Ghanaian man to call a lady my wife that is in a relationship with regardless of the status of the relationship yeah. my wife yeah. so now are you his wife I mean like has he gone home to, to see your family <laughs> As, I mean are you guys married real marriage I am married to my husband 
and we are blessed with four children. Yes, he went all the way from Ghana to Nigeria. And from Lagos, we traveled to Anambra State. From wow. Anambra State, we traveled to Ozubulu. <laughs> Straight home. Straight home. My husband um, did every formalities he has to do on me. He, he's not owing my Hold family. On. Hold on, guys. <laughs> you see this guy? We need to give him a round of applause. Give him a round of applause. Yeah. It is not a joke to no, marry no, no. an Igbo lady, especially... Yes. Anambra, yes. okay, oh, okay, Anambra and Imo. Yeah. Okay, for him to go down to Nigeria, yes. past Lagos, it's not like he stopped in Lagos, he <laughs> no, went no, straight no, no. to Anambra, and he went to Ozubulu. Yeah. I personally have been there, and I was afraid. <laughs> afraid of what? <laughs> I don't know, I just, you know, Ozubulu, you know, this Anambra kind of hard people. Indigenous yeah. home, like, you know, deep, deep, deep inside the As forest. A, yes. Poland. Yes. So I, have, I was there before and I was afraid. So mm. this guy went with his family and yes. friends. Yes, yes. And he paid your bride price. Yes, please. Yes, please. We are formally married. Yes. Let's give this man a round of applause. <laughs> He's a wonderful guy indeed. Yes. He's a wonderful guy. Yeah. Now, I have something to ask because there's this resentment. Um, as a Nigerian lady, yeah. no matter how nice how humble how genuine how honest you are there's a, a, a certain kind of um there's a certain there's this resentment like our Ghanaian brothers have on us hey she's nigerian she can never be trusted she's nigerian she can you know that is not to say there are no nigerians marrying Ghanaians, but most of the time they don't meet in africa they meet outside africa where you know, people have different method of judging others. Yeah. You know, they don't judge them based on the story of, you know, others, like the sins of others. <laughs> you get it. But uh, people don't really judge you based on the story of the other people of your country. But here in Ghana, it's very common for you to be judged based on the sins of your brothers, <laughs> of your countrymen. Yeah. So for this guy, he met you here in Ghana and you are in Nigerian and you guys fell in love and are you okay in your marriage? Like, are there been any time, have there ever been any time you kind of feel like your husband is not trust, trusting you enough? No, I have never experienced that kind of thing. Yes, of course, there is some challenges here and there. You know, so which is normally married now. Yes. It's not, even even if you're married to the girl next door, I mean, like <laughs> if her parents are from this place and your yeah. own parents are from here, you guys are from the same place. You're married. You still have challenge. So that's not what I'm talking about. I mean, like, have you ever has it? Had there been a time he tried to hide something from you because you're a Nigerian? Not at all. For me, I don't experience that in my marriage. My husband is my friend. Mm -hmm. My husband is my boyfriend. He's my husband. He's even my son. That's how I see it because we share virtually everything. He's one thing that I always thank God for in my life because he's everything, seriously. This is not maybe pretense. Hey. People that are close to me knows about this. Like, he's the best thing that has ever happened to me. I'm, I'm so happy for you. Thank okay. You. Now, what part of Ghana is your husband from? Yeah, he's from Equiapim, Eastern Region. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so have you gone home to his village? Um, yes, I've been there, but I went to his maternal home. Yeah. Okay. But that was just once. and that's Once? Just, yes. Okay. So how did they receive you, uh, being a Nigerian wife? For the family, <laughs> yeah. they, are, they are very good. Yes, oh. they are good to me, especially my father-in-law. In fact, they are all good. Yeah, they are good people. They welcome you wholeheartedly. Yes, and they're so proud <laughs> that yeah they have Nigerian. Are you serious? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> they're good people. Oh wow. Well, I know that. Um, I know that this issue of Nigerians do this, Nigerians didn't do this, Nigerian this. Usually, most of the time, it's just in Accra. Yeah. You know, when yeah. you go outside of Accra, you don't usually experience that. Like when you you travel all the way from somewhere to this place. Yes. When you get here, the atmosphere is different. That judgment is not much where yeah. people will say, oh, you're yeah, a Nigerian, you know? Yes. So I can understand if your parents-in-law accepted you and feel proud to have you. Oh, yeah. They are cool people. They are cool. And um, what makes it easier for me, too, is that 
whatever I think the family does is no match for me because my husband is always there. Mm. Yes, he's there. He's there. Like he'd be like, babe, even if nobody is there for you, I'm there for you, and it's enough. <laughs> yes, this kind of love. <laughs> this kind of love. <laughs> Wow. So you guys have four kids. Yes, two boys and two girls. Now, what name do they bear? Ghanaian name, Nigerian Nigeria, English? Nigerian names and Ghana names, yeah. Okay. Yes. So how do you, how do you address, uh, how do you, address, just give us an instance. You may not really want to use your son's name or your daughter's name, yeah. but how do you address them like that? Oh, in the house we all speak English. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, but sometimes they also speak the tree amongst them. Oh, okay, so yeah. they understand the tree. Yeah, they speak a lot of tree because they are oh. actually in Ghana. Yeah, so. So do you speak tree yourself? Yes, but please don't come for me. <laughs> Ah, you are better than me, man. Oh, I speak a little of the tree, but I'm not really very good. Yeah, I can say me portrait it is sign. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Me, I will say a year, a year, yeah, papa. You can say a year, or you say me portrait boko. Me portrait boko. Yeah. <laughs> the easy ones. Yeah. Mm. And I hear, I hear, but not too deep. If, okay. you, if you don't want to get me confused, mm. please don't speak deep, deep, deep tree. Okay. You can just say little English, mm. little tree, I will capture it. But you have been in Ghana for like 10 years now? More than 10 years, please. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, that first time that you came to Ghana as a young Nigerian girl, hmm? what, how did you feel? What, what was your impression of Ghana and Ghanaians? I like to know. The truth is, Ghana has been a place that I love so much. Nigeria is also very good, but growing up in Nigeria, I I wasn't really like getting everything I wanted. Yeah. Okay. So what brought me here basically is my studies. Yeah. Okay. And from studying, like that was when I met my husband. So for me, Ghana here is quite peaceful. Because I like just being peaceful with myself, like the 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 their kind of way, like just calm. Everything is boko. <laughs> <laughs> so that boko thing is what made me just. That was what attracted yes. you when yeah. you first got yes. to Ghana. Yes, please. so in your house as a couple, as a family, what type of food do you guys eat? I wouldn't say the most, but what, kind, what type of food do you eat basically on it? Okay, fine, the most. Baby, you just don't want to know. I want to know. I'm curious. <laughs> you see this Ghana-Nigerian marriage? Mm. I love it. But at the same time, I always want to know what's been going on there because I have an experience. And maybe I'll talk about it later in the video. So I want to know. My husband loves Nigeria dishes. Hey, really? <laughs> this man can eat a banana goosey like really? something. Oh, yes. Oh. Like the Ebakura, he likes the Akmu. Are you serious? The real Akmu. That's what this man likes. He eats everything in Nigeria. Hmm. In fact, he prefers it than the Ghana food. But hey. still, I mix everything. Okay. That is why I'm here. Like, I cook all Niger and all Ghanaian food. All Ghanaian so food. So you learned how Yes, my husband taught me everything. Clap for yourself. <laughs> Clap for yourself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we wow. Eat, we eat everything. Everything. I eat fufu, banku, um, um, what's it called? All your Ghana food. Mm. Kinky. Yeah, we eat everything at home. Yes. Well, I, I would like to say that your husband is a lucky guy. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Because, see, um, why I'm saying this is when you are married to an Igbo woman, it's forever. Yeah. Okay. For me, from the south, I know when to go, when I have to go. Yeah. But for an Igbo lady, it's, there's nothing like knowing when to go. They don't go. It's forever. If, if she passes on, she belongs to you and your family. Like, it's forever thing. So your husband is actually a very lucky guy. And, you I, know. I, and I am also. Oh, And they like to make their marriages work. It means, marriage means everything to an Igbo woman, sure, you know. Sure. So I'm happy for your husband. You know, I'm happy for him. So um, how, how often do you, you guys know, go to Nigeria? 
Um, we were in Nigeria like four years back. Yeah. Okay. You went to visit. Yeah. And, then come and we're back. supposed to be in Nigeria last year, but because of the election, uh -huh. we were like, okay, let's just cool down. Maybe, mm. maybe just this year. Okay. Yeah. That's so good. So your family do come to Ghana to visit, and you guys have this uh, blended family. Yeah, for me, both my husband family and my family, mm. they are really in good terms, yeah. Okay. My, my mom was here, um, I think, um, four years back, okay. yeah. And um, we are all cool, like, they come and we go. I used to have my immediate other brother here in Ghana, and okay. he spends almost all his time in my, in my house, yeah. Aww. So the, we have good rapport, the both families, yeah, we're Very cool. Very good. Yes. Yes. very good so do you have like um do you like me i'm always <laughs> see guys i'm that kind of person i like to be real yes. with things because yes. for me you know i have a child with a Ghanaian guy you told me so that. and then i, I don't there is it's a different thing story entirely oh. you know so that's what i'm asking like i want to know things that you know i'm curious to know about the food and all that but i'm glad that you have resolved that in my head and sure. i feel better sure. so what do you do for a living um i'm an entrepreneur yes my field uh, is solely on food 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 yes i'm just trying to set up a place in accra yes and we are still working on it but aside that I do my YouTube, I do my Instagram, Facebook, all of that. Oh, you're a YouTuber? Yes, please. Oh, guys. Yeah, guys, uh, I'm going to leave your wife's <laughs> handle in the description. I'm oh going to tag God. I'm going to tag her. Blushing. Yeah, I'm going to tag you on the on this video so that yeah. your in-laws can check you out yes. and also your brothers Nigerians and um, yes, your sisters, we do you know, we do everything. Um, Ghanaian, Nigerian, okay. yeah, but in the restaurant, I'm starting up with just Nigerian dishes. Oh, okay, but with time, we're gonna be adding up the Ghana food too oh, because okay. we know how to do it best, right? <laughs> right, <laughs> no, yes. I, well, I understand where, why you may like to start with the Nigerian food first because you have less competition yeah. and all that for yeah. a start, right? For a start, and then yeah. later you can now expand, to yes, yes. Okay. But, um, also, not just that, also, it's all depend on the demand. So, mm. for me, we can do everything, but for now, because of the, the, the situation of things, I just want to go with just nigerian okay but if if they want maybe ghana food yeah, they demand yeah I, 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 I we do it now <laughs> so wait, wait, do you want to talk about your shop your food shop i mean your restaurants um for now yes we are in circle okay good just, location yeah you know? just behind the the shisco station okay yeah shisco station around the vip station there yeah that's the place just behind it yeah you okay. can just ask of sweet pea foods yeah they'll get you to my kitchen wow congratulations in thank advance you. congrats thank you. Thank you. oh wow and you're also on facebook where do you get time to do all these things like i went on facebook yesterday and i saw your video oh my and god how do you like how do you have time to do that yeah you know being a mom being a wife being an entrepreneur and then being a youtuber and also a facebooker so how do you combine all these things oh my god <laughs> um i would say the source of my strength is god that's just it's it, basically easy. it's not been easy you know sometimes i feel like giving up like i'll be mm. like oh my dear i'm tired of all this but i just i have this kind of um convention in me that <laughs> last last everything will make sense <laughs> Now everything we'll yeah now who we'll give up now you fuck up now so yeah so we are this optimist like i'm optimist mm. yes i believe that yeah every one day one day will, everything will. will make sense you can. yes that is just a wow baby. you're such a delight to Aww. have around okay. okay so thank you so much for coming she traveled all the way from accra to this place <laughs> even though i refused to disclose my current location yeah. which i've said with time i was going to tell people where i am but she traveled about three hours plus oh my God. to get here and i'm yeah. so impressed to thank have her thank you thank you uh, thank you so much for coming thank you do you have so any word of advice for nigerians who may be falling in love with 
uh, Ghanaians, and but because of cultural difference, they don't want to get involved. Do you have anything to say? Yes, um, for me, I would tell them to just um, be themselves. Yeah. They are good people. Yes, we have our individual differences, but I believe that Ghanaians are good people. Okay. Meet the right person, try and make it work. For me, I have a lot of Nigerians that complain that they get married to Ghanaians and today they are all by themselves. But mm. I still believe even in this midst of Ghanaians, there's good people, good, good people. So just give it a try. Yes, marriage is for better, for, for worse. worse. Ha. Marriage is for better. Yeah. Thank you. The worst is not for me. No, no. Thank you so much for coming Thank on the show. So much, All right. So guys, please head to her channel. Show her some love. Yes. Let her know you're coming from here. Oh, oh. Let her know. Handles. Uh, All my handles. Okay. It's just sweet it pea foods okay on instagram tiktok facebook oh you are in, on tiktok oh yeah you're everywhere everywhere on twitter i'm mm. there you're on twitter yes on youtube i'm there everywhere. this one our wife <laughs> this one our wife i need to meet your yeah. husband eh? you guys me my me i have a lot to deliver god bless you guys amen. amen thank you so much thank you so guys please don't forget to subscribe to our channel subscribe to mine i'm going to tag sweet pea on this video so click on that um channel just go on ahead and support her all right let her know you're coming from me okay uh -huh. and i've been calling her our wife our wife like am i now a Ghanaian? i don't know <laughs> <laughs> you say you're on twitter yes please i need to meet her husband uh -huh. you know why see when I, ladies on twitter you guys are trying me i'm not on twitter mm -hmm. i only opened it just to call youtube out from time to time because my brain no carry yes so. yeah my brain no carry <laughs> all right bye bye bye, -bye.